I'm a post collegian, so. So, how would you feel about the 1500? Did you get out of it what you wanted to? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I just wanted to sit in there um, and compete. You know, I wasn't trying to look for a fast time. I haven't raced since last, uh, pretty much last summer, so it's been a while. So I was a little nervous coming in there. Uh, I'm not quite sure what kind of shape I was in, but just wanted to make it fun, get a race under my belt, pretty much move forward and uh, look forward to the next race. So, Were you a little surprised at the view of challenge you there on the last lap? Um, you know, before the race, you know, um, my coach came up to me and told me he ran a great 5K about a week or two ago, and so he said that he's obviously pretty sharp, and uh, so, you know, make sure when you go, you go pretty hard. And so, he, I mean, I went up on him 300 to go, and he responded pretty well, and, you know, he's obviously got a great career ahead of himself, and he's having a great season. So, um, I mean, I always look forward to competition, so it was great to get a, um, someone to kind of come back on me today. But, yeah, he looked great. Pretty much I just had a virus um, indoors and I had to take about almost a month off and once you take a month off with about two, two and a half months of an indoor season, you know, it's pretty much your indoor season is over, you know, it's not really much time to get back into shape and in the yard. So I sat down with my coaches and, and we decided to just kind of cut the whole indoor season, just get ready for outdoor season. So I've been training pretty well for the last several weeks and uh, yeah, just kind of waited for the right race to open up. It wasn't really much early in the spring and um, obviously it sucked to you know be in great shape and then have that virus literally the week of my uh, first race indoors. Um, but you know when you put all that hard work, you like to see the results. But obviously, I know I put the work in, which will help me out. I feel like this spring, so I didn't miss too too much. But um, at the same time, you know it, it was tough to see all my teammates race great and you know you were there working out with them. So you haven't uh, get a chance. You don't get many chances to race at Hayward. Yeah, anymore. yeah. How was that to come back? So it's great, you know, to open the season here. Um, you know, the crowd was obviously great. Um, I came last night to do some strides here, and I've just been getting, you know, just great thanks for coming down, welcome home, um, just great comments. And, uh, you know, it's always fun to come back and see former teammates, coaches, and the team is obviously looking great. Um, so it's a great time to be in Eugene and, and race in Eugene. So it was, um, it's a great opportunity to open up and have fun down here. What's next for you? Uh, two, uh, two weeks from now, I'm going to go down to Peyton Jordan and run a full 5K. So that'll be fun to change the events up a little bit um, and see how I do with the longer distances. It's going to be fun to run a 5K. I wouldn't say fun, but <laughs> the first four laps, maybe. <laughs> so. You're going to go for a good time? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we'll see who's in the race. It's always a competitive race for the 5K. Uh, my PR is very soft in the 5K. Um, I think I ran it a couple years ago, um, 1347. And so if I can run around 1330, maybe break 1330, I'd be very pleased with that. And so I felt great doing the two mile with the 5K tonight. Um, felt pretty relaxed and uh, shows that my strength is there. And so it'll be fun to try a 5K, full 5K in two weeks. You're missing a month, are you pushing your season back at all or, or just going on with what the plans were? Well, the month I missed was in pretty much all February. And so, you know, we take a small break after indoor season anyways to gear, gear up for it. So. Honestly, it wasn't like, in terms of my outdoor season, it's not really changing too much. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I would have liked to have been a little bit, had some races to show for my fitness indoors and probably been a little bit more sharp, sharp right now. But I look at it as like in 2012 when I had knee surgery, and I pretty much just had a longer summer, and that's how I'm probably going to approach this year with missing the indoor season. I'm probably going to be looked to, to still improving and running great seasonal bests and hopefully PRs in late summer. So, Is that your goal then? Because without a world or... Yeah, this year is all about fast times, um, setting personal records, chasing records. Um, so besides just PRing, you know, going after American records, going after PRs, um, and this is the year to do it, especially with, like you said, no major championships and every race is going to be a Diamond League or a fast race pretty much um, once the season starts kicking off. I assume the 1500 sweep here a few years ago was your highlight of your duck career. Is that what you say? It's tough to say, you know. Um, there's so many good memories. I mean, uh, definitely winning and or here at and, um, at USA is, uh, was pretty memorable as well. Um, but yeah, definitely that sweep was top three for sure. Um, it's it's great to do it with teammates um, when it's not just about yourself. And obviously, you know, the 1500 is a great event, prestigious event, and for Oregon to dominate that just shows how great miling was for Oregon at that time, especially. Thank you. Thanks, guys.